That's right guys, it is finally here, WALL-E. So this project has taken over seven months, around 14 hours of CAD design, over 40 hours of printing, and about six hours of painting. And it doesn't quite work. But I got really close, so let's talk about it. Um, first of all, my criteria for this was to create a WALL-E robot that was fairly small um, and have him be drivable with real tank treads and have his head move back and forth, have the arms be um, posable. They weren't going to be um, driven by electronics, but you could manually pose them and move them around. And then I also wanted to have a front door that could come down and allow easy access to the electronics. And if you would like to watch the full progression of this, um, I posted update videos occasionally on my progress of this throughout that seven months. Um, there's 10 or so videos and I will link a playlist. You can click the little eye up in the corner here or check down in the description. So before I talk about what went wrong, um, I wanna talk about what went really right with this. So first of all, um, I think the actual model itself came out really well. I actually created this model in Tinkercad and as I stated before, it took about 14 hours of pure CAD modeling to um, create this model. So it was a fairly ambitious project for myself considering I didn't have and still don't have the skills um, necessary to pull something like this off. But as far as pure aesthetics, I think Wally looks amazing. And that is mostly due to my wife painting it. Now she went all out on this and used a combination of primers, spray paints, airbrush paints, um, acrylic paints with a paintbrush, and, and even a Sharpie for the black text on the front of Wally. So huge props to her for making it look this good because I really think this looks amazing. So what about the movement? Did I get that working? Yes and no. Uh, technically everything works, but not good enough. The biggest issue that I have is that the motors I chose to drive him just don't have enough torque to get the job done. And that's pretty unfortunate because everything else um, seemed to line up pretty well. So as you can see, when they aren't under any load, the motors can actually turn the treads. And the treads are actually one thing that I'm pretty proud of. I didn't think in a million years I would be able to create some treads that actually work, but these things work really well. They are just interconnected with tiny little pins that hold them together and allow them to move like they do, and they work perfectly. But as soon as I set Wally's base down, the friction caused from um, the mechanics and the printed parts rubbing together causes the motors to stall out. And that is without the added weight of the rest of the body. And that is actually the only piece that is failing me here. And as you can see in this clip, the arms actually do move the way that I intended them to. You can move them up and down and even rotate the hands to make him um, do different poses. And his head is actually mounted with a servo motor in the neck so his head can turn and it appears that he is looking around. And I also worked in the door system that I was talking about to allow access to the electronics. So overall, while this project wasn't a complete success, um, I still consider it a personal success for myself because I learned a crazy amount um, during this process about electronics, about design, um, about mechanics in general. And ultimately, I have a really badass looking Wally that I can just put on my desk now. And so at this point, I really have two options. I can um, redesign the necessary parts for Wally to make him work, or I can move on to other projects that I've had build up in the time that I've been working on Wally. And I am going to opt for number two. So Wally has been consuming quite a bit of my time and my wife's time lately. So I am going to move on to some other projects, but that does not mean that I won't come back to this eventually and make a full working Wally. Okay, and if you are interested, I will be making all of the files that I use for Wally -E, um, available for free. You can check the description for links to those files. And unfortunately, I won't be able to share the Tinkercad files that I used to create this because um, while creating this, I seem to have overloaded what Tinkercad will allow in a file and um, I actually can't access any of it right now. Every time I try to do something, it just brings up an error and I've tried to contact their support but there doesn't seem to be anything I can do at this point. Um, but luckily I still have all of the files or all the STLs necessary to create this. So I will put those out there for free. And there are going to be um, sort of two versions of this. There's going to be one that is fit for electronics and one that will work without electronics. 
And really those will just be the difference of a couple of pieces. Like the neck will be different for the non-electronic version and um, I believe the, the wheel brackets will be different as well. But everything else will be the same. So just pay attention to which file you are downloading. Um, I will state clearly which ones for the non-electronic version. And then throughout the next couple of days I will be creating some diagrams to show how all of these pieces go together. That way if you would like to make one of these for yourself you can. Um, I do have to warn you if you try to make the electronic version obviously the one that I created did not work. So you're kind of on your own with that one. I will link to all the components that I use down in the description um, but and I'll also put a note down there but just keep in mind that the, um, the motors that I use to drive Wally uh, did not provide enough torque. So you will need to find a micro servo sized motor that is able to handle quite a bit of torque and then you might actually get this thing to work. But I will put more information about that down in the description. All right guys, well I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed seeing Wally come to life, sort of. And if you've been following me for a while, you know that this project has been going on for a very long time. So um, thank you for sticking it out and I'm super sorry that it doesn't actually work. But even with all that trouble, um, it's still something that I'm very proud of and um, I can't wait to see what the community does with it. So thank you guys for the continued support. It means the world to me. And if you're wondering what to watch next, check the little eye up in the corner. I will put the full playlist of all of the Wally -E update videos so you can see my progress up to this point. And I will also put some of my other 3D printing videos in there so you can check those out as well. And then if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and get subscribed because I make at least two new videos every week. And I've got some really cool stuff planned for the future. All right, guys, thanks for joining me in this crazy journey of creating this thing. Let me know what you thought down in the comments. I love to hear you guys' feedback. And then I will see you guys in the next video. Till next time.